I always wanted to convert uh, my normal garage door controller, which is push button, and I have two remotes, uh, convert into Wi-Fi based remote control so that I can control it from my cell phone, I can control it from internet anywhere, or you know, I can control it using Alexa. Uh, so that's that's the idea that was going into my head. <coughs> The normal garage door remotes that we get with the garage door controller can be converted into Wi-Fi based garage door controller, um, which, which uh, can be done using with the help of Raspberry Pi if you have one. <coughs> so this is about how we can convert these normal garage door remote controller into a Wi-Fi based. One I keep in my car usually, uh, and the other one was a spare. I don't need the second one. But however, I was I used to go on biking, or you know, sometime when I'm outside, I used to wonder uh, if I could open the garage door from outside, so that you know I don't have to need the garage door controller or the remote <coughs> all the time hanging around with me. So what I did was, with the help of Raspberry Pi, I uh, short-circuited this to operate it from, from, from the internet. So let's open this guy up and see what are we going to do inside here. Uh, this is a normal gar garage room. Uh, if you see, this is not Wi-Fi enabled or a smart garage door controller. So I'm just gonna open it. Uh, probably I'll need a, a screwdriver to do that. Alright, so now that I have it opened, if you look closely, there's a button here that does the job of, you know, when you press this button here, actually, this button here gets pressed. And if we can take this board out, uh, I can show you that, you know, basically this button is nothing but, uh, is connecting these two points of contact. Uh, so if I jump these two points here through a wire, the garage door can be opened. Let's go try it out. So, behind me is my garage, and this is the circuit. And this was the button I was telling you guys about earlier. And if you just look in the back and short circuit it using uh, a metallic stuff, I think I can open the garage. <laughs> <clears throat> so it appears as if these two points needs to be short circuited to be able to do that and if I touch them again you will see it closing so all that I need is to to short these two points with a wire and control it using a Raspberry Pi and the shorting of the wire should happen as and when I want using a Raspberry Pi that can be achieved so let's go see how we can do it alright now I have everything wired up that's my Raspberry Pi uh, you see the wires coming to this relay and from this relay, it goes into my garage door contro uh, remote control. Um, if I can zoom, and you would see that there are wires coming out of Raspberry Pi that goes into a relay, and then the relay uh, connects to Rasp. Uh, sorry, relay connects to my garage door uh, remote. And I've, uh, I'm going to zoom in um, here uh, that's the button that I'm shorting and you, you can see 
if I can zoom any further. Uh, no, I guess I cannot. Um, these are the two legs of this button uh, that I've connected through this wire that goes into the relay. And uh, uh, <coughs> now that the relay is uh, connected with Raspberry Pi, I can do some programming and control the circuit such that with the Wi-Fi I can toggle the button on and off. Um, I've written a small web service um, on, which is running on my Raspberry Pi itself, the, the web server. It's written in Node.js and what I can do here is uh, I can go on my cell phone, type the address of <coughs> Of this uh, application, and I can say I have a couple of uh, options buttons here: toggle garage door, uh, wait until I'm back, turn on light, turn it off. So um, we'll talk about the turning light on and off in some other video. But today is the garage door as our topic. So let's let's uh, look at this guy. When I press this guy you will hear a click sound that will activate the relay uh, from the from Raspberry and it will toggle the garage door. Uh, so look at this. Uh, I say that was the click and you saw the red light and the buzzing noise is about the garage door opening. I can toggle it again to close it and it's gonna close my garage door the light is also running on a similar idea we'll talk about it more uh, in our next video so uh, let's talk about the programming sometime uh, later uh, I'll show you I have uh, integrated this using Alexa uh, Amazon Echo so I can control it using Amazon's voice service um, also all right guys so now that I have my garage door remote controller uh, connected with Raspberry Pi and it's online I can basically connect it from anywhere in the world and the, one of the advantages of being able to do that is I have my Amazon Echo sitting here and I can ask Alexa to open the garage door for us. So let's go ahead and look at it. Uh, Alexa, ask Alfred to open the garage door. Garage door has been operated. So you see how this Amazon Echo can control my garage door now, just being uh, able to control it through the Raspberry Pi, I can possibly integrate it with any of the web services or any of the uh, services out there. Um, <clears throat> one downside of using this old garage door remote controller is that I cannot know the status of the garage door at the moment, whether it is open or closed. Um, I can handle that using another circuitry, which I have mounted on garage door using uh, <coughs> a comp component there, which will help me tell whether the garage door is open or not. Um, so that's about it.